In this video, we'll be reviewing the CalDigit TS3 Plus, which as you'll see, is the best Thunderbolt dock you can get on the market right now. Thunderbolt docks are designed primarily for a laptop so that you have a central hub to plug in all your external devices. Now my problem is with the number of Thunderbolt 3 ports on this workstation. Somehow Apple figured out how to fit four of them on a 13 inch MacBook Pro, but they couldn't fit more than two on a 27 inch iMac. So I was just looking for a way to plug in my HDMI monitor and more than one Thunderbolt or USB-C drive at a time. Now yes, I could go out and buy a $1,200 Thunderbolt 3 monitor, but I can't afford one because according to YouTube analytics, nobody's even watching this. And picking up a simple USB-C hub would prevent me from using any Thunderbolt devices at all. Enter the CalDigit TS3 Plus. So let's do a quick unboxing. We got some literature, a couple rubber feet so it doesn't scratch your desk, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, we got our power supply, and hiding under the veil is the hub itself. When I first ordered this, I was expecting some huge thing, but it actually has a footprint smaller than my iPhone 7 Plus. In fact, it's smaller than its own power supply, which kind of makes sense. It can charge an 85 watt laptop, a 15 watt Thunderbolt device, and seven seven and a half watt USB devices all at the same time. Just like the other Thunderbolt docks out there, you get two Thunderbolt 3 ports. But unlike other docks, you get two additional USB-C ports and a UHS-2 SD card slot, five USB-A ports, separate headphone and mic jacks, display port, optical audio, and gigabit ethernet. Another sweet feature is that the SD card slot has a spring-loaded mechanism. However, I regret to inform you that you cannot shoot SD cards from it like an old school GI Joe action figure. As a side note, if you do plan to use the display port for an HDMI monitor, make sure you buy an active adapter, because I bought three passive ones before I realized that. Using the direct ports on my iMac for comparison, I tested each port on the TS3 Plus. The UHS-2 card slot easily outperformed the built-in one. Internet speeds from the Ethernet port were essentially the same, and data speeds from every other port were virtually identical, all but the front-facing USB-C port. For some reason, when testing out a solid-state drive, it was the only port that didn't give me more than 500 megabytes per second read speeds. At a price point of about 300 bucks, let's go ahead and compare it to some of the competition. All right, looks like we got the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock, two Thunderbolt ports, no USB-C ports, five USB-A ports, optical audio, headphone and mic jacks, a UHS-1 SD card reader, gigabit ethernet, mini display, a Firewire 800 port, cute, and laptop charging up to 60 watts. Got a letter from OWC to anybody with a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now I guess that wouldn't be so bad if it was cheaper, but it's the same price as the TS3 Plus. All right, let's see if Belkin can do any better. Their dock has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, still no USB-C ports, a whole three USB-A ports, no optical audio. It's got Two headphone jacks. Yes! Now what about a mic jack? Nope. SD card reader? Nope. Well, that's okay. It's got gigabit ethernet, a uh, display port, and that's it. At 320 bucks, you'd at least think it'd be the runner up. So there you have it, the CalDigit TS3 Plus, the obvious choice if you're looking for a Thunderbolt 3 dock. If you are thinking of picking one of these bad boys up, please use the affiliate link below so we can keep making videos for the 13 subscribers that actually watch this channel. So like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff that makes it look like we know what we're doing. I'm Kavika with 9th App Studio, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoot!